Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the third part of my top 60 apps of 2015. So guys, I have already made two other parts. So I'll leave a link for that in the description area below this video just in case if you want to look at them. So in this video, I'm going to show you my list of top 20 apps. So guys, let's get started. So firstly, we have Time Hop. So using this particular app, we can go back through time. So whenever we share something on Google, Facebook or any other social media websites, it gets stored in their repository and it's gone forever. We never look back at them but using this particular app we can know what exactly we shared on the exact same date. Using this particular app we can know what we shared today, one year ago, two years ago and three years ago. So it might not mean a lot for most of you but it's a really nice way to know what happened last year or how much fun you had last year on the same day or how you spent your last birthday and similar such stuff so that's the first app in our list today so the second app is true caller which you can use to get information about any unknown callers when i get a call from any unknown number it searches through its repository its database and gets me the name well it gets or it updates its database from all the contacts of everyone who uses this true caller so it raises privacy concerns but most of them don't mind they just want to know the contact name of the unknown caller so anyway it works really well and we can also report some contacts as spam callers so let's say if i report a contact as a spammer everyone in the world who will receive a call from that particular number will be reported that it's a spammer and they may simply ignore the call or not answer the call at all or else they can enable this option that says block common spammers so whenever any spammer calls you the call automatically gets disconnected a very nice feature but do note that as it is a user based database sometimes some normal calls might get listed as spam calls so anyway the third app is amplify which will help you to save battery uh, you need to have root access and exposed framework installed to use this particular app the fourth app is touchpal which is my favorite keyboard so let me just quickly enable it. And let me just give you a demonstration. So guys, this is how the keyboard looks. Like most other keyboards, you have swipe. And this has nice gestures. Like when I swipe up from these letters, I'm able to insert numbers. And when I swipe down, I'm able to insert symbols. And when I swipe from the back button over here, it will delete the last word and apart from that it has navigation keys over here and we can select the entire text and do a copy or a cut and we can do a paste it even has an inbuilt clipboard manager on free version it only saves your last 10 clips and it has theme options you can resize the keyboard and you can mostly do anything that any other keyboard does but with additional features so that's the reason why this has been my number one keyboard for quite some time. So let's go to our list. So the fifth app in my list is my paid apps. Well, I didn't try any alternatives, but using this particular app, we can know what are all the paid apps or what are all the apps that we have bought. And it also gives us information about which apps we have already installed and which we haven't. So a nice app. The next app in our list is Pixart which is a photo editing app so this has been a personal favorite for quite some time so this is how it looks so anyway let's go to the next app well VLC has been around for quite some time and the only reason I particularly use this app is to play a video in slow motion let's say I'm watching some trailer from Avengers or Superman vs Batman so anyway so if there was any fast paced action sequence and I want to see a film or a video in a slow motion then for that I use this otherwise I use MX player for most of the time. This does a pretty good job too but I like MX player better. The next app is Share It which you probably know which is an app to share information or files or all kind of stuff from one Android device to a Windows PC or Windows phone or any other phone having the same app. It basically allows you to share information or share data over Wi-Fi. It's easy to use and easy to configure. So if you haven't already tried it, try it now. 
The next app in our list is Pocket, which is like an offline article reader, I guess. So guys, if you have any article that you want to read later, then there might be many cases where the website might be down later or you don't have internet access or the author might have changed some content in it. So in that situation, you can use this app called as Pocket to save the copy of the article. So you have extensions for Firefox and Google Chrome and you have apps on every platform. So let's say you're browsing an article and all you need to do is simply share that link to this particular app and it will save that article just like this. So you can have this anytime you want. It saves the entire web page in a simplified article and it also saves the link from which it has got the article. So if you want to go check out the original piece, then you can also do that. So it's a really nice app to have. Do note that we can do the same thing using Evernote. But for this particular purpose, Pocket does a better job than Evernote. But if you want all your notes and all your stuff at one place, then you can definitely use Evernote too. The next app in our list is Lemma, which is basically an automation app based on your location. So it tracks your cell phone towers to determine your location. So guys, the next app in our list is called as Lemma, which is a location based automation app. So it gets your location based on your cell phone signal tower. So it doesn't use any GPS. So it saves a lot of battery and also finds out your location. So I use it very extensively and I've been using it for many years and I didn't find any other replacement to this. By the way guys, if you find any good replacement for any app that I'm going to show you now or in my previous videos, do let me know by commenting below this video. So the next app in the list is OVO, which is a simple timer with a maximum limit of one hour and you can simply increase or decrease the time by, by swiping clockwise or anti-clockwise. Just a simple and easy to use timer. The next app is Anydo. Anydo is basically a to-do list app and it works really well. As you can see, it also has a dark theme. And whenever you get a missed call or whenever someone calls you and you didn't pick up the phone, you get a notification asking them to call back or create a reminder. And it does some simple and useful things like that. The next app in my list is TSF Launcher and I've used many launchers but none of the launchers gave me the type of flexibility and basically flexibility that TSF Shell gives. It has some nice animations and features. Apart from that, you have something called as lasso mode. So you can basically do that and organize all your files, all your shortcuts and all. And the main reason I use this particular launcher over any other launcher is its ability or its feature to sort all apps based on installation time. I install apps very regularly and I don't want to go through all my apps to just find out what are the recent apps that I've installed. So in that situation, this app really helps me out. I've just installed these two apps and they are listed in the top and I get that burning kind of animation showing that these are recently installed apps. So guys, TSF Shell, do check it out. So guys, this is the next app in my list. This is the cardboard camera. You have all these panorama shots and you can view them even using the Google VR. So pretty cool stuff, do check it out. So guys, the next app is Here Maps, which is an alternative for Google Maps. Uh, I guess it was the first one to come up with the offline maps and navigation and search in offline maps. Like one month ago, it was my top to go app for maps offline. Up till one month ago, this was my go-to app for offline maps. With just one GB of memory, you can have a map of an entire country, even like India. And you might get the entire map of, say, Singapore or Malaysia in 200 or 300 MB. So it's a really nice app. You can download the entire map and search through it even when you're offline. Next app is GSM Battery Monitor, which as the name suggests, you can use to monitor your battery drain and how quickly your battery charges let's say you want to try out two different charges and see how one performs over the other you can simply use the graphs to determine how quickly a phone you can simply use the graphs to determine how quickly a charger performs over other and also you can check out how your battery is draining when the screen is on and screen is off and when the wi-fi is turned on or turned off so it gives us that information along with that it gives us information like how much a particular app has drained or what are the apps that are consuming more battery on your device. 
so i have been doing screen recording while recording this video so this app is in the top so let's go to the next app next we have quora which i suppose many of you know so i just find some nice articles in there so i've just listed it over here next we have if which is from the website so using this app you create some triggers like if you take a picture with instagram app then save it to dropbox or something like that so you can create so this is basically an automation app so let's say i got a message then i can configure it to save that message to a spreadsheet in dropbox or google drive so i can do such stuff next we have inshorts which is a which is a news application instead of giving us the entire information it just gives a quick brief summary of the news and you can simply read that and get going with your life next we have google keep which is a note taking app the best thing about this is it is very simple to use very beautifully designed and it is very easy to share your notes with anyone who has a google account so let me quickly create a note so i'll be saying hi i can even create a reminder i can change the color i can add tags or i can share it with other people like this and when i press save this particular note will be shared with that contact and we both can edit this particular note and have the updated copy every time so for this kind of a purpose this is really good and it works really well but do note that it's not recommended for high usage so don't keep all your information in it so if you're a student and have a lot of information like taking notes and stuff don't keep it in here i suggest you to go with one note so the final app in our list is adroid which is like a pc suit come file manager tool so you just install this app on your phone and open your web browser and enter this url and you'll be able to see a qr code you press this button and scan the qr code to connect with that this is a pc suit slash backup tool slash file transfer tool so all you need to do is install this app on your phone and enter this url on your web browser and once you go to that particular site you can scan the qr code using this and once the qr code is scanned you'll be able to connect your phone to your browser and you'll be able to transfer files access your sms and contacts take a backup of all your contacts sms apps install new apps and do a ton of stuff so that's pretty much it guys these are my 20 apps in this video series and this is the final video series of my top 60 apps of 2015 so that's pretty much it guys these are my top 60 apps for 2015 i know i have missed quite a few important ones but i thought most of you might have known them so that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching this video i hope you found this video to be helpful if you like this video give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this